What is going on everybody? So today I'm going to be giving you guys uh, another tutorial. Um, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you all for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, that's insane. I never thought that I'd get that many or I never thought that my videos would get that much feedback and I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if uh, any of these videos help you guys, be sure to subscribe, uh, be notified uh, when I drop future tutorials and videos. Um, you could leave a like if this helped you, that'd be great and really appreciate it as well. Um, I also have a bunch of other Minecraft tutorials, um, I'll put a card up in the corner of the screen um, just so that you guys can get an easy link to that, but I basically it'll show you guys how to install uh, the server, how to change your message of the day, how to edit your server properties, all the commands, uh, some simple fixes. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, go look through that list before you uh, comment down below. And if n you haven't seen uh, an answer to your question, uh, definitely comment or find a way to ask me directly. You can always join my Discord server. There'll be a link for that in the description as well. Um, also, if you guys have any video suggestions for future videos, other tutorials you want me to do, be sure to drop those down below as well. So, uh, let's get into it. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mask your IP address with a domain name. If you don't know what I mean by that, let me show you real quick. So just for an example, you set up your server, you have it all running, we have ours going right here. To join this, you'd have to give your friends your external IPv4 address. If you don't know how to join or what to give out to your friends, I have an entire another video explaining what to do there. I'll be linking that as well in the description. I'll put a card in the top right right now for that as well. Um, yeah, so basically the number you're going to be giving out to your friends is going to be your public IP address. Let me just, I'll just make up one right now. Uh, 75.225.214.23. Alright, we're going to say that this is our IP address. I just made it up off the top of my head, but yours will look similar to this in format. Now, let's say you don't want to be giving out your public IP address in the internet. You'd rather give out something like myserver.com. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, my domain name is voicedev.com so I have a, a subdomain on my website mc.voicedev.com and if you type this in you can join my Minecraft server it will redirect you to my IP address now I'm going to show you how to set something like this up today uh, I had to pay for the .com I had to go through a service uh, I use GoDaddy but there are services like Squarespace domains.com where you can go on and you can purchase the .com and that basically lets you own this domain and you can link it to whatever you want. Um, in our case, we're going to be linking it to a Minecraft server, but that's how you can get like a .com name. You can get a free one, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today, but it's not going to be a .com. Uh, you'll be able to pick what you want in the beginning, so it'll be something like myserver.ddns.net. You'll have this at the end of it, but... It'll work essentially the same as this right here, um, but um, there's a free service called No IP that I'm going to be showing you guys how to sign up with and set something like this up on right now. So you'll be able to give out this to your friends to join instead of this, and that's our goal today. So first thing we're going to want to do is go on to Google, and let's just go to the website. I'm just going to do a quick Google search on No IP, and right here, first thing we get is NoIP.com. Go right to it and it looks like this the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to sign up right here in the top right and i'm just going to use a temp fake email you guys can uh use whatever whatever you want so this will be mine right here we'll copy it hopefully it works sometimes they don't but if you guys ever need a free temporary email just google it and you can use it you get a free inbox if you guys want to sign up for a service and don't want all those spam emails. So we're just going to set a quick a quick password. It's not going to let us use that not strong of a password. So let's try this. There we go. Um, and this is where we're going to get to choose our host name. So we can either create it later or we can create it right now. I would recommend creating it right now. And uh, our, our host name is just going to be called... Uh, Voice test server because I know it's probably not taken so it's gonna be voice test server and we don't want dot hop to dot org we want uh, these are the only free ones you get to choose from I prefer dot ddns dot net because it looks the cleanest out of all of these so I'll choose that you might actually be able to get some no, it doesn't seem like it but 
yeah, so we'll set that up, and then you come down here, and you can see you can have a free plan right here. Now, the downside to the free plan is every 30 days, you're going to have to sign back into this website and renew it. It's totally free to keep doing that, but if you don't renew it after 30 days, this will stop taking effect. So I'm going to opt out of the emails, uh, except you have to make sure you accept their uh, terms of service and privacy policy, and click free sign up. And I can't use that email address. So let me try a different one. And free sign up. There we go. So after you get it to work, um, I'm just going to save this up here just so I don't forget it. And uh, it says, thank you for creating a no IP dynamic DNS account. So now we need to confirm our account. So we got to go back to our email and we got to go down to the email right here. This will be in your email. And you got to open it up and you got to confirm the account with a link. It says your account is now active. So perfect. Now we get to go in and we get to manage our DNS. So uh, we're going to go to, I believe. Okay, so after you've accepted uh, the email, you can come into here and uh, go back to the main page and you're going to want to go to manage domains at the top and over here at the top you're going to want to go to I believe it's dynamic DNS and no IP host names and you can see down here we have our voice test server dot hop to dot org the reason why I didn't change the end of it was because when I did the email wrong I didn't change the suffix again so we're just going to leave that for now, and you can see that it automatically took my uh, external IPv4 address. Uh, don't worry, guys. I didn't dox myself. This is where I'm on a VPN right now. So it took the VPN's, uh, the IPv4 address, and it stuck it in there for my target. Now, let's say that uh, I want to make sure that this is correct. I want to make sure that when this is going to redirect to me. So what I want to do is I want to go in. I'm just going to look up what my IPv4 is. So I'm just going to Google, uh, what is my IPv4? And we'll come down, what is my IP.com? will show me that my public IPv4 is 108.62.49.158. That's exactly what it is here. So now, since this is active, uh, anybody on the internet that types in this will be redirected to this IP address. So if I have my Minecraft server running on this IP address, they no longer need to type this in. They type this in. So, unfortunately, I don't have a good way to show this to you guys and test this out because this is only something that your friends are going to be able to type in because let's say we, I set this up and then I want to connect to my own server. I'm not going to be able to connect to my own server using the domain name. I'm still going to have to type in zero or localhost. Um, that's not going to change, but what's going to change is you're not going to have to give out your public IPv4 address to other people. You're just going to have to give out this this domain name right here that you created and linked to your IP address. So that helps uh, basically, you know, makes you feel a little more safe if you don't want to be just, you know, posting your IP address out on the Internet. You can post this in a forum or something. And it, you guys should be aware that it's it's very easy to just reverse this DNS and figure out your IP address. So it doesn't by any means uh, hide it or basically prevent anybody from seeing your IP address. All it really does is just give you something easier to type in. Um, but yeah, so once all of it's set up right and if you have port forwarded your server and people are able to join your server using this number now they'll be able to join your server using this so that's basically all there is to it and like I said every 30 days you're gonna have to come back like it says right here and uh, I guess you can upgrade you can pay money and it will never expire but since we want to do this for free we have to come back every 30 days they'll send you an email and uh, you just come back you confirm your host name and then it's good for another 30 days so it's pretty simple and on a free account you can actually set up three of these to go to three different places and you can make as many accounts as you want to be honest so it it's a great service I recommend it uh, this isn't they didn't pay me to say this or anything uh, doing this truly because I, I like their service I use it and uh, I think it'll help a lot of you guys out as well so that's pretty much all I have for this video guys unfortunately like I said I don't have a very good way to test this out and show you but uh, it should work, and if you guys have any questions about this, be sure to uh, drop a 
comment down below. And like I said, I'm always available on Discord. Uh, you guys can add me or join my Discord server. There'll be a link in the description. And if you have any other questions about any other Minecraft tutorial topics, I do have my uh, I have a playlist that I've made with all my other tutorials in it. I've made a bunch at this point. Uh, basically, how to create a server, how to change your message of the day, how to color code stuff, how to edit your server properties, upload custom maps to your server. All that kind of stuff, because I see you guys asking these questions over and over again in the comments, and I already have videos for them on my channel. You guys just have to go look. Uh, and actually, in the description of this video, I will list them all out as well for you guys. So, uh, once again, thank you guys for 3K subs. We're going to keep going with this, and uh, if, this guys, if this video helped you out in any way, be sure to uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe for future videos. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, so... Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.